Okay, I'm finishing my breakfast, and my lovely colleagues are not going to join me on this tour. <laughs> and my other colleague flaked on me, so I will go by myself. It's okay. I basically had lunch for breakfast. They're going to the pool. Maybe at the pool. She needs tan. She doesn't want to come. I do, but I need to do some runs, you know. She's home. I want to see that video. <laughs> You'll see it. I will edit it all together. I know. I'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah, oh. Have fun. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, so I'm with Bones. Yeah. Bonesu. Yeah. Bonesu. Bonesu. And English name is? Shock. Shock. Okay, excuse us. Uh... <laughs> Shock slash Bonesu. Yeah. He's taking me a private tour because all the other crew are lame. These guys don't want to see anything history, so yeah. why? You know? <laughs> Typical crew, they want to be by the pool, they want to chill, it's okay though. I always like to do something, so we're gonna go and let's see what we can find. Yeah. Okay, so now tell us where we're going. Oh, we cannot go this way. Oh, it's closed. So this is? Independence Square. Independence Square. Can we walk on this grass? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. okay. So they built this March 6th? Yeah, What's the date? 1957. No, which day of the month? 60th month. March 6th. Yeah, okay. Independence from Britain. So every year there's big celebration here. Yeah. What do they do? They do like procession, yeah. parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Procession and a lot of art. All right, that's it. They're big monuments. Oh, this video. Life. Yeah, <laughs> GH for life. What's GH for life? Yeah, this is Ghana. Ghana ah, the short name is GH, GH for life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> GH for life. Independent yeah, Square. GH, yeah, Independent Square. Here we are, and flex <laughs> around the world. Yeah. GH. <laughs> <laughs> from Jamestown. You're from Jamestown? Yes, and this is the oldest part of Accra. This is Jamestown British. We have three things here. We have lighthouse, fishing village, and a fort okay. used as a slave activities. And after they stop the slave, they turn it as a prison. It's a very small yes, lighthouse. Yes, <laughs> and, and actually lighthouse give the big ships direction to Accra. And, and okay. down here is a fishing village we have. In Jamestown, we love each other. Yeah, it doesn't really matter you are not coming from Jamestown. You can go inside the build and wooden structure. The famous boxes. So Richie. Yes, the boxes I know. Yes, you know. So this is where the boxing came from. Yes, we have the boxing. Jim. Jim, I don't box. Are you Jim? <laughs> but Jim, yeah. 
You? You box? I box. He boxes, okay. Yes. Soon to be famous. Yes, soon to be famous. Soon to be famous. So oh, you caught him now. Yes. Your name? Samuel. Samuel, soon to be famous boxer soon from Jameson. Soon to be famous. <laughs> when my is boxing, your match? My boxing name is Shaka. Okay, Shaka. Shaka. And when is your match? Very soon, in August. 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 Okay, good luck to you, bro. Yeah. I hope you win. Against who? You come again. Who you fight? Local, locals. Okay, Let's okay. Fight with the locals. Okay. Hello. Hi, so let's see. Uh, which country are you coming from? I'm from the US. Oh, this is United States. Of United America. States. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hello. <laughs> it's having sword. You got a sword? Oh, yeah, you got a sword. <laughs> You're gonna fight each other? <laughs> you have a sword. Many swords. 20 cents. This is 20 cents. 20 cents. <laughs> Are you fighting? Yeah, they are going to fight with yourself. Who's the winner? Yes. Me. You, you have the crown. Yeah. <laughs> and this is British Old Police Barriers. Where? During the old yeah, days, the British police, by the fishing village here carries 5,000. People, people. Yes, population, that is people. Okay. 5,000 people that live in the fishing village. Okay. We have church, mosque, school, all inside here. So this is like separate from the rest of this is Accra, Greater Canada. Accra. This is Greater Accra. This is the oldest part of Accra. Okay. The history starts from Jamestown here. But it's 5,000 people that lives in the village here. When we are talking about Jamestown, we have the town and the village. And this okay. is the fishing village. Okay, town and, and village. Yes, and 5,000 people that really lives in the fishing village. And the town is where the boxing is. Yes. Okay. And moreover, too, we, ha we also have champion boxers who are coming from here, too. I don't know whether you know about Joshua Crotty. Do you know about him? Yeah, Joshua. Else. Joshua. No, Joshua was the, the fighter that fought okay. with Manny Pacquiao in UX. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, Joshua fought with Pacquiao in okay. UX. Okay, okay. I don't follow boxing. Yeah, so Joshua really is really know. coming from here. Ah, okay. So, and actually, I work out with a Canadian NGO, that is projects abroad from Canada. Oh, yeah? So I run a free school built by Canadian NGO. That and this, the school is here? The school is here. Okay. It's immediate in the beginnings, from 6 years up to 15 years. Okay. You guys training? Yeah. As someone has no word, I didn't even be no teaching by all of you. Flex around the world, huh? What are you doing? Yes, go. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Your boxers, no? No. No, just training. This is a stomp rider. Stomp motor rider. Motor rider, okay. Yeah, I'm wrong. Keep boxing. Okay, nice. Oh, one hand. Good. <laughs> it's strong.
What's this called? This is macho. This is macho. Yes, yeah, slim macho. Macho pack. I shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you do that? Can you do that? Slow. <laughs> Slowly, I can do. <laughs> I can do slow. Fast <laughs> now. For you, you'll be dancing with your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so my little brief history lesson I just got. These are the fishing boats. Obviously, you can see they come out and they fish here. But this point right here, this is very historical because this was the point of no return for the slaves. So the big ships would come in, they would walk all the way to the end of this and they would board the large boats and they would ship them off to the countries like uh, North America, America, all these places. Brazilian, Brazilian 1633. 1633. 1633. So this is the last point they saw here. A point of no return. Point of no return. And we now, is there lots of pollution coming from the ocean? Obviously. We lots. really need recycling. recycling. We need recycling company because we don't have any trash bank that we, we pick it, we yeah. put it in. So we really need recycling. Yeah. It's a big problem everywhere in the world, really. He's vlogging too now. Now I made him a vlogger. <laughs> now you're a vlogger. of Jamestown is Ododododo. The original right, okay. name for Ghana is called Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. And Gold Coast was changed into 1957 into Ghana. Interesting. And these are the gym, House of Pain. This is one oh, of House the gyms. Oh, the boxing gym. Okay, so we're, 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 this is where it all began. Yeah. This is Joshua Crotte's gym, the fighter that fought with Manny Pacquiao. This is his gym. Okay. And this is the tunnel we are going to visit. House of Pain. This is the slave tunnel. This is where they walked all the way to the last bus. To the Let's visit. Okay, wait, let's visit. Okay, so this is the tunnel. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to... Wow. Put on your lights. Oh, I can't do the light when I'm filming this way. to the tunnel that you saw. Okay, so I'll put the light on instead of filming, but this is the tunnel they would go down. 
Why do they come down this tunnel, though? Because they have to hide the slaves for the Ghanaians not to see that they are doing slavery. So everything has to be hide. Wow. Okay, we're going to turn this off so we can see when we go down, but that's intense. Okay, they're not training today. But this is the, where the boxing all began. House of Champions. <laughs> Me box? No. The best fighter. The best this fighter. one? Yes. Do it, do it, let me see. The best fighter. You, you. and craft market now. Your name? Hey, my name is German Love. Yeah, I am a, a woodcarver and I'm a drummer. So after that, we sent to a drum shop yeah, and we play some drum for you. You're JJ? Yeah. You're famous with Cabin Crew, Emirates. Respect. Yes, Emirates. Yes. Yeah, one you know cab. Tessie? I know Tessie. Okay, yes. Tessie, I introduced me to him. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, respect, see? respect. Everybody knows your name. And uh, <laughs> we have Facebook. They yeah. say, ask for JJ. Yeah. JJ, JJ, okay. that's Javano. So he's the famous one, the famous drummer. So after that, we'll go play some drum with you. Okay. Yeah. I mean. So I will put you in my video vlog okay. and you'll be even more famous All right, thank on you. YouTube. Respect, thank you. <laughs> so after that, we'll How are you, man? Drum. You're strong, man. Yeah, you're strong. I can see from your shaking. <laughs> He's yeah. a boxer. No, I'm a kickboxer. Kickboxer? Yeah. Yeah. So, my name is Eric. Yeah. AKA Black Tablets. Uh, AKA Black Tablets. Black Tablets. Tablet. For a boxer for real. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a kickboxer. Black Tablet. Welcome to Art Center. Art Center is a place where you have all the artists, uh, the best artists here in Ghana, because it's a selection of artists. And I'm one of them. My name is uh, German Love, and people call me JJ. Let's do something. Yeah. So today, I want to brother this drum that called Panungo Drum. It's one of our traditional drum. But Rastaman, I deal for reggae, Afro beat. And I want to listen to message to my brother. Okay. And listen to the say. Thank you. 
Smart guy, I don't want him to take all the secrets. <laughs> so, we have JJ, we have black, uh, black, black, tablet. black tablet. Tablet, why black tablet? Yeah, black tablet, tablet because tablet, 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 tablet yes, it's a for remedy. Ah, remedy for, uh, the, so he's yeah. the remedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the remedy that, that, for that's, the that's women. That's IB, <laughs> IB, yeah. yes, respect. You know, one love, you know, yeah. wow, okay, so. That was a really eye-opening experience. And I want to just kind of talk to you guys stream of conscious without having any, anything planned just while that tour was fresh. Because obviously, coming to a country like this, it's a third world country. And there's so much history here, so much pain. Uh, and to see that and experience it is really hard for me, especially as an American. Because obviously, we took in slaves from this country, you know, all these years ago. So to go somewhere and see where they actually walked, you know, and to be just in the place where, you know, all of the slaves came from. Now, it's hard for me to take my camera around, especially in a place like this. First of all, I asked Bon Su, like, is it appropriate for me to even be filming? Because like I told you guys, I'm new to this. I'm not used to having my phone out all the time. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to film people that don't want to be filmed. He said, no, tourism, like it's growing here and they want to show you know how the life is and that's why i'm doing this i'm not trying to walk around and be showy with my iphone and vlogging and you know be like a privileged white man walking around in a poor country like the whole point of doing this is to show you guys show other people that don't travel that don't have the opportunity to see what i see what life is like in other cultures because it's really important to be able to place yourself in other people's shoes and to be modest and to be humble and to realize not everyone can live like you and also to acknowledge that yes i am a privileged white person i mean i can't help it this is how i was born i was fortunate enough to be born into a family in the u.s this is just my life destiny you know some people um could be born you could have been born in australia you could have been born in canada you could have been born in in here in ghana like you know it's just how your life works out so i think you have to acknowledge that and say yeah i i do have privilege just simply because of the color of my skin and simply because of where i was born or where i grew up so it's important to recognize that and that's something that traveling does to you but it's also hard um, to come to these places and to see it and also to be taken advantage of because of that because then people will just look at you for the color of your skin and say look at this white guy he has money at least now I know that if I get this layover again I can actually bring stuff like books reading materials pens pencils clothing items toiletries um, it would be good to bring and and go to like a proper orphanage and stuff to drop it off so that's something that i definitely want to do i didn't even think of uh, for this layover to to have this planned so i guess that's just kind of my thoughts on today uh, you know, like I said, I do this because I want you guys to be able to see what I see since you don't have the experience to travel and it's really important to see this because there's so many people I know that are watching this like just even if only my family watches this and nobody else I know many people in my family are never gonna go to a third world country They're never gonna see what life is life and it's rough. You know, these people are living in 
like makeshift shacks and on the ocean, you know, and it's, it's a really hard life here. And it's important to know that not everywhere in the world is like the US or a first world country. You know, people live a really, really rough life just to, just to get by. And that's of course where the aggression comes in from people like this because they haven't experienced, um, you know, our lives. So they have an idea of what our lives are like or how much money we have and things like this. So it works both ways. You have to understand both people, but it was tough to see that. It was very eye opening, you know, especially being an American because a lot of slavery did come to the US and we are responsible for a lot of that. So it was really crazy to see like, it just imagine these people walking down that path down that tunnel that we went into and then down the path on the ocean to board the ships like and knowing that was basically the end of their life here as they knew it. it's really sad but this is why we learn about history to make sure it doesn't repeat itself so that's pretty much it but it wasn't all heavy you know there were some fun things other than that there were still some positive things like the people are really friendly the kids are really friendly um, they're happy to see you with an iPhone they want to show off like those guys in the gym that was really cool <laughs> I liked uh, working out with them seeing their training um, I don't follow boxing so I'm not a huge boxing fan but it's cool to see like where they act, the people actually train and everything and they go to the US and stuff and they fight. There's a lot of champions that come from here. So it's cool. I think overall the people here are really friendly, really happy. And it was definitely an interesting experience. But hopefully you just like the idea of getting a glimpse of what it's like to be Emirates Cabin Crew. So now as an Emirates Cabin Crew, I'm gonna try and take a nap because we're gonna fly all through the night. Uh, so, and then back to Dubai, we'll land in the morning. So I hope you guys liked my layover video. Please give it a thumbs up. That helps me get the word out to more people and gets it seen more on YouTube. And if you really liked it, uh, please subscribe so you see more of my videos and you help support my little tiny baby channel. And if you didn't like it, don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> if you really wanna give it a thumbs down, please at least give some constructive criticism. That's nice if you have something to say that will help um, me learn and grow because as I told you, I'm new to this. So. Uh, like and subscribe share and I'll see you guys later continue training eating well living healthy being grateful and Join me for more flex around the world Yeah She's eating these models on the way out the flight get those veggies in Oh my god, I'm not on a video right now <laughs> So what you cutting up there? Emma. You could put me on any type of vlog, I swear to God. <laughs> Just the blooper reel. <laughs>